Hello everybody, welcome to Kids Kingdom. We're back to share an episode with you. I'm Miss Joelle. I'm Elsie. And I'm Luke. I'm Ava. It is the sixth Sunday of Easter this week. Um, also Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all you mums and caregivers out there. Um, today we're going to start with a prayer led by Elsie. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, you showed us your love by sending your only Son, Jesus. Help us to live in his example by showing or loving to others this week and always. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So today's episode of Kids Kingdom um, we're reflecting on the Gospel of John, chapter 15, 9 to 17. Um, and today we're going to start with a few items. I'm going to pull these out of my bag. We're going to talk about things that we like and things that we dislike or we don't like. So you guys watching at home, if you like one of these things, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like one of these things, you can just give us a thumbs down so you can participate a little bit on your own. So I'm going to pull this one out here. How many people like to eat an ice cream cone every now and then? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. What about the Edmonton Oilers hockey team? One out of three. It's not for everybody. That's okay. Okay. Um, how about playing with cute little stuffies? Okay. How many people today like playing Super Mario? <laughs> <laughs> so we have some different likes and diff dislikes, even just in this small crowd right here. Let me ask you a question, and you can think about this at home. What do you think Jesus likes? Luke. Um, Jesus likes for people to sing. Singing. Okay. What else? Elsie? Um, Jesus likes us. He likes us. Ava. Jesus likes us to love one another. That's actually going to be our focus. So the big thing that Jesus likes and wants us to do is to love one another. And that is the focus of today's gospel reading. So who do we love in our lives? We'll see. I love my grandma, grandpa, and Baba and Doda. Okay, so your family. Who else, Luke? I like my aunties. Aunties and Eva? I like my mom and dad. So, and your mom and dad. So those are all family members or people that are close to us. And those are often people that are easy to love. But you know, Jesus wants us to love everyone. And that might be trickier to do. And not only does he want us to love everyone, but he wants us to love everyone in the way that he loves us. And that kind of sometimes comes as a difficult task because we aren't perfect. We all have sin in our lives and we can only aspire and try to have that perfect love. But that's what Jesus wants us to do. And that's one of our most important callings. So we actually thought we would start off today with a little story um, that's sort of a similar reflection to this. Ava's going to read it, so I hope you enjoy. God's Dream by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Dear child of God, what do you dream about in your loveliest of dreams? Do you dream about flying high or rainbows reaching across the sky? Do you dream about being free to do whatever your heart desires? 
or being treated like a full person no matter how young you might be? Do you know what God dreams about? If you close your eyes and look with your heart, I'm sure, dear child, that you will find out. God dreams about people sharing. God dreams about people caring. God dreams that we reach out and hold one another's hands and play one another's games and laugh with one another's hearts. But God does not force us to be friends or to love one another. Dear child of God, it does not happen that we get angry and hurt one another. Soon we start to feel sad and so very alone. Sometimes we cry and God cries with us. But when we say we're sorry and forgive one another, we wipe away our tears and God's tears too. Each of us carries a piece of God's heart within us, and when we love one another, the pieces of God's heart are made whole. God dreams that every one of us will see that we are all brothers and sisters. Yes, even you and me, even if we have different mummies and daddies or live in different faraway lands. even if we speak different languages or have different ways of talking to God, even if we have different eyes or different skin. Even if you are taller and I am smaller, even if your nose is little and mine is large. Dear child of God, do you know how to make God's dream come true? It is really quite easy. As easy as sharing, loving, caring. As easy as holding, playing, laughing. As easy as knowing we are family because we are all God's ch children. Will you help God dream, God's dream come true? Let me tell you a secret. God smiles like a rainbow when you do. When Jesus was on earth, he was both fully man and fully God, meaning that he knew everything there ever was or is to know. He wanted to pass on as much information as he could, but much of what Jesus had to share would be difficult for his listeners to understand. Jesus longed for his followers to experience a strong connection to him. He explained that the keys to staying connected are love, and obedience. Jesus loves us the way his Father loves him. Jesus explained that he shows his Father love by obeying his commands. That means for us to show Jesus that we love him, all we have to do is obey his commands. Obeying Jesus' commands makes him happy, and making Jesus happy will fill us with absolute joy. Our lives become like healthy branches that bear wonderful fruit. To remain connected to Jesus, we must obey his command to love each other the way Jesus loves all of us. Jesus showed his love for us by coming to serve and through sacrifice. We can show each other love like this by helping people and by putting the needs of others before our own. By focusing our attention, effort, and love on others rather than ourselves, our lives bear the good fruit that pleases God. Through this obedience, we show Jesus how very much we love him. As we show our love for Jesus by obeying his command to love others, we begin to discover just how deep his love for us is Jesus now calls us friends. As friends, our connection to and knowledge of Jesus blossoms and becomes stronger. 
Our strengthened connection and faith helps us to prosper and bear fruit that will last forever. The friendship with Jesus that has begun in this life will grow and thrive for all eternity. Our connection to Him will never end. Okay, so we are ready for today's craft. We are going to decorate and cut out and make a little puzzle that says, I love you to pieces. And you put your name down here. And I'm not sure if you received a puzzle on a construction paper or some sort of a thicker cardstock. If not, you can just, what we did here was we just glued our white paper onto colored paper to make it a bit thicker and easier to pull apart at some point. So, um, and put back together as a puzzle. So, um, this could be a little gift to give somebody that you love. Whatever you want. There's a lot of flexibility with this project. So Luke, do you want to lift up your project and say what you're going to do with your card? It needs a little bit of planning. I'm going to light purple first, then green, then light blue, then pink, light pink, then dark, um, I mean, I mean gray, and dark blue. So I think what Luke's going to do is color each one of his pieces. There's six pieces. He's going to color each piece a different color and then cut around all the black lines to form his puzzle. So you really want to have a little bit of a plan. You could also draw, yeah, you can get started. You could also draw some sort of a picture. I'll see what are you going to do for yours? I'm going to um, put stick. First, I'm going to color, and then I'm going to... Are you going to color each of the pieces? Yeah, I'm going to color them in each of the pe um, pieces different colors in the rainbow. And then I'm going to put some stickers on, and maybe I'm going to put some stamps. Perfect. And so maybe you want to write your name at the bottom. Love, whatever your name is first, so you don't forget about that or draw over it or put stickers. How if about you, you do, If you do love your name, that you can't do that. You gotta love someone that you really love. Okay, and Ava? Um, I think I'm gonna um, do, um, color each of my pu puzzle pieces a different color and then I'm gonna put stickers on each of the puzzle pieces. Nice. So we recommend d um, drawing, coloring, decorating, something first, having your name on, and then when you're finished, where are you I'm gonna cut? Yeah, go ahead. Head. Perfect, Elsie, where are we gonna cut? We're going to cut through the black lines, and what you need to do is like, you gotta have this pe um, sheet of paper, and then you have some scissors and something to color with and stickers, and so you... Cut the lines, right? Yeah. Follow so the black lines. First you color in the squares, and then you put some stickers on, and then maybe you could get some stamps, yeah. and, maybe, and then you can cut them out with some scissors. Perfect. So everybody get started on your puzzles. I love you to pieces. Love. Can you your mm -hmm. Yeah. I can tell love 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 one another and be kind be kind to each other Jesus told us to love him and to love everyone Jesus told us to love
finished here. So Luke, do you want to hold up your puzzle that you completed? He glued his onto another piece of paper. All done, Elsie. Yeah, and I... Elsie's is kind of just being put back together there. Yeah. And then Ava's done. Very nice. So we're going to leave you this week with a challenge. Elsie, what's the challenge for the week? Think carefully about the way that you might show your love for others and see how many times you can show it. Perfect. We have a couple other little attachments. There's some other coloring sheets. Mm -hmm. Ava, what does it say on this one? Here's love, our Love one another as I have loved you. There's our quote to remember. All right. Mm -hmm. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.